In November 2012, Real Oviedo FC was at risk of disappearing due to a bad management from the directors. The club needed €2 million Euros in order to survive. The football world answered the call for help from thousands of fans under the slogan, Save Real Oviedo. And thanks to the help of Sid Lowe, many thousands of lovers of the game joined forces and bought shares in a historic club. Without that mobilisation, without those 25,000 people from over 80 countries, the club wouldn't exist today. To all of you, new Oviedo supporters, thank you. This will always be your home. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. This is it, on the way to Oviedo, the sun's shining, everyone's happy, Malian's loving it. Hey. Look at him. <whistles> Stacey's buzzing in the back. Hey, Oviedo, here we come. We're in Oviedo, baby. Man, waving at me. Yeah, that's our boy. That's Matthias. We found our that boy. That's him. Spencer. Nice to meet you. Yes. This is, this is Neil. Yeah. We're now inside the uh, Real Oviedo Stadium. This is like the ticket office. Real Oviedo, the stadium is huge for this division. Wow, look at this. Amazing. Love this. Come on, boys, you can do it. You can do it. Don't go out the technical area. Don't come out the technical area. On a day to day basis, what do you do at the club? What's your job? We are people who are trying to help, to help the club. So we've just interviewed Juan. He would have been the man that had to sign essentially the death warrant of the club. That's the responsibility he took on. Yeah, getting some dinner. We've got a good man, Matthias, there. And you have to drink it in one time. No, in Vietnam. Look at these guys, fucking loving it, loving it, loving it large. Right then, here we are in Oviedo, it's Friday, it's our first day around the city. It's raining cats and dogs and uh, we're on our way to get the car, see what the city's got to offer. Right, we're on our way up the mountain. Oh hello mate, we're in the mist. We're in the mist, we're in the mist. In the mist. We're in the mist. We're in the clouds. We've actually gone too high, we've, we've lost the view, but we want to try and get to the top of the mountain. We're at the top of Oviedo. The stadium, just there. Real Oviedo Club Shop. Look at the blue stuff in here. What's this nice sponsor? Because okay. for the moment, no one went to No, so no one's interested. Nothing. Here we go. Hello. Do you reckon to this little bad boy? So we are at the Real Oviedo exhibition now. So this has been put on to um, essentially educate the foreign supporters about the club and about what's happened in the past. I'm in the auditorium, about to have a talk from the club all about the weekend. We've got an auditorium full of fans here uh, from all over Europe. They've invested some money in the club. Another beautiful-ish day in Real Oviedo. In it's Real Oviedo. Real, Real Oviedo. That's how they say it. Oviedo. Say it. Oviedo. Oviedo. And we're going to the stadium right now, where um, we're going to have a cheeky little guided tour of the city on a coach with all the other supporters, which will be lovely. So there's the stadium, as we know. What I quite enjoy is this little stadium over here, little one. I thought that was like the training ground, but it's actually their rival team stadium. It's right next to it. And once they played a game each against each other, the Oviedo guys didn't want to go in there and pay money for a ticket, so they just went to the top of this stadium up here and then looked over and watched it and saw a little bit of the game for free. That's what I like about these Oviedo guys. They're clever. Here's the goal. Nets up. Goal mouth. Looking okay. It's a bit slippery. Beautiful. Beautiful. Expecting about 10,000 here tomorrow. The big game against Atletico B. We're gonna make, uh, as I say, in tour to visit some of the main spots of the city, and after that, we're gonna make a walking tour around the old quarter. The bus tour begins. 
This building was uh, designed by the famous Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava. On the walking tour now, and I just found out that Oviedo is one of the cleanest cities in Spain. No less than three times it has won the award for being the cleanest city in Spain. What are you filming, Spence? I want to say Morris dancing. One sure sign that tells you it rains a lot here is that uh, all the dogs have jackets. Take a look at this little fella. Hola! <laughs> the local newspaper is doing a special uh, special deal this weekend where you buy the newspaper and you get the Proud of You Real Oviedo Supporters Day t-shirt with it. Hola, tres comesetas. No va a ver. Dos y tres. Just bought this little fella. It's a large, that's fine. Through the loom so you know it's good. Spanish proper Oviedo fans just got on the bus, kitted up with their boots on, ready for the tournament. <laughs> the official training ground of Oviedo where we're playing our tournament today. What have we here? Perfect pre-match meal. Everything you need for, for a game, I think. Getting clapped in. Foreign shareholders getting clapped in. pre-match barbecue. It's quite weird, they've got a load of meat and a load of booze and we're all eating and drinking before the football starts. The future of Oviedo right there, the future of football, the future of this club, now thanks to the shareholders, is looking good. Now we're at this place where you buy a sort of handkerchief for five euros and it's all you can eat food and all you can drink. Here's the cider served by the barrel. The reason they let their cider drop so long before it hits the glass is that they believe it needs to get oxygen to make it taste better. So apparently if you drop it low and drink it, it tastes better than if you just pour it straight in and drink it like we do in England. Outside the stadium at night, looks quite cool. Tomorrow we watch them play, we watch them fight against Atletico Madrid B and we will win or we will lose or draw. That's the great thing about football. Any one of those three things could happen. See you on Sunday. Here we are then, day four. Sunday, match day. It was raining again, not surprising, but the rain seems to, I don't seem like it affects me as much now. I feel like we're used to it. We've sort yeah. of become almost like amphibians. What do cows drink? A cider. You have be... Just one drink of cider. <laughs> the, the, cow, the cows are here. <laughs> Just arrived at the stadium, look at that backdrop. Not a bad backdrop to have on your doorstep. There's a band playing, there's a beer tent, there's shops. <laughs> Core fans there, about five hours before kickoff. Why not? Why not? Look at him, cute isn't he? Just found out that uh, some of the results this morning have gone our way. A win today, which is what we're expecting, could mean good things, could mean a spot in the playoffs, and it's just the tough struggle to get to the next league from here, but um, feeling confident. <laughs> This is where the ultras make their banners and all their decorations for the club and the games. It's pretty cool that the stadium and the club lets them come in, in the stadium and do it. This is the press conference room where they obviously do the uh, press, ask the questions. They sit here. We're going to present you the new manager of Real Oviedo. Yes, come here please. 
How are you going to turn this team around and get them to the top? Um, I'm going to implement the same strategy I implemented in uh, my championship manager career. And I'm going to um, basically cheat in the editor where you put the best players in the team and then you, and then you, just, you just win all the games. Does that work in real life? Real Oviedo Museum. Well, it's the history of the club. It looks great. <laughs> Old season tickets. Some of you may remember this guy's face. Take a look. <laughs> Stan Collymore. What a signing. Here it is, the trophy room. Some big ones in here. Look at this. Some people wonder why they call it the championship. That's because back in the day when you won, they actually gave you a ship. Look. You used to win ships. They won three championships. There's a massive championship over here, look. That's one big ship. First coach, here he is. Frederick Pentland. That's the English name. And then Patrick O'Coy could be Irish, maybe. Three of the uh, first four managers of Real Oviedo were from the UK. So 87 years ago, when Real Oviedo was formed, it was two clubs coming together. So it was this team here. And they joined with these boys. And so one team played in white, one team played in blue. So when they went together, they went with blue and white. We're in the stadium. We've just uh, interviewed the president of Real Oviedo, which is brilliant. Tom's just gone off to film with the uh, manager of Real Oviedo, the big man, the coach. Just in front of me here are the players of Real Oviedo. The uh, kit man's laid all the, all the kits out for the players. Boots are out, flip-flops are out, shin pads are out. Everything's out. He's just put the captain's armband on. Look at that. I touched it. I touched it. I touched it. Okay, I've been granted a very special privilege. Uh, Juan, who's on the board at Oviedo, has just said that I can leave a message on the board for the players to get them psyched up and motivated for the game. So it's very special. So I'm going to write it now and they're going to see it later. So, ready? We believe in you from England. Quick team talk, boys, right? Get amongst them today. Get out there. Hard tackles. Make it count. It's a big game, all right? We've got to win this. We're going to go out this season. I believe in us. Playoffs. We're coming for the playoffs. Come on, boys. Come on. So, Marca, biggest newspaper in Spain. And on page 27, pretty good looking chap now. I think you'll agree. Who's that? Boys, it's me, it's Benny. Making our way to gate 19, they've made a special monument for all the foreign shareholders to say thank you. It's an international gate that Simiakadi and the club have put together to thank everybody from around the world and also from outside of Spain. We're in the stadium now, they've got a plaque for all the uh, famous players that have played here. I do think it's pretty much the coolest club ever. They've got history of the club, they've got how many shares were bought in different countries, look. They've made a wall for the fans to leave their memories of Oviedo. Top at the moment. 
one of the guys we interviewed yesterday was the leader of the Ultras, and he's the guy on the megaphone now, so if you hear the megaphone go mental, you know it's him. Oh, yes! about to kick off me and stay in position behind the goal because the Oviedo boys are shooting right this way now. If Oviedo do get a goal, this centre arm, the left of me, will absolutely erupt. Ball just went into the crowd and, I, and they threw it back and I caught it. I just touched the match ball. I just touched the match ball. Shareholders is about to be given the microphone for the ultras. this sticker. Pihon equals murder, which means he Pihon equals shit. Nine minutes left of normal time now. Still nil nil. Not been a lot of chances. Oviedo, we need a goal. Come on boys. Give these lads something more to cheer about. They deserve it. They're amazing fans. Both go on the pitch at the end. You're coming on. I'm coming on. I don't think you're allowed, mate. Just say, I've got, I've got a bib. We're going on the pitch. Fuck it, we're on the pitch. The whistle's gone. I'm going to go on until I get told off. Come on, boys. You oh, know, I, I need to talk. Okay, okay. we've been told to come off, but we're on anyway. Good win, boys. Good win. 2 0. Well done. Look at the boys in the background there. Celebrating. Get in, boys. Yes, boys. Okay. What a game. I think potentially the best football experience I've ever had. Walking back to the apartment, guess who I support? Got the hat, got the scarf, got the coat. Viedo, baby. Just on our way back to the airport, Santander, and we've looked like at a copy of the paper, La Nueva España. Look what we've found. Here we go Neil Stacey, Tom Mellion, and Spencer Carmichael Brown. Television, 90, 90, 90, YouTube, YouTube channel. That's two days in a row, old dogs here, but in the paper. It's been four amazing days in Spain. We've uh, basically had all access to uh, the stadium, to the people, the club. The people we've met is, have been fantastic and everybody's been just super friendly. They've really taken us to their heart and in turn, I think we've all taken them into our heart. So, um, yeah, incredible. Great club and hopefully it's going to be a great little dog we've made. Farewell and good luck. Bye-bye. Oviedo. Remember, subscribe, Copa 19. I'll see you more soon. Stay away. Fuck you! Fuck my eggs! Fuck my eggs! First bit of the trip has gone to plan. We're on the M11 on our way to Stansted. Have a look at this little fella. So I think it's time to start the trip. We're not going to Oviedo. I don't think we are either. We got a cab! There's a cab! Come on, the boys! 
We're gonna make our flight. <laughs> Hit one. Come on, come on, come on. Look at that. Okay. There you go. Told you. It sounds cliched and it sounds almost too sickly sweet, but this is a real feel-good story. This is this is really something quite special.